There are many simple tricks in MLBB that most players are not aware of. And using them in the early game just boosts your performance. So let me tell you some of the simple and easiest secret tricks that are currently being popular in the meta. Hi guys, Kazuki here and in this video I will tell about how to exploit the easiest secret tricks of MLBB. Let's get started with Clint. Clint is a hero that can deal enormous damage in almost every minute of the game. And only some know how to abuse him in the early game. But we will not only be talking about the basics here. He is a very good counter to some of the popular god laners like Moscow, Beatrix, Wan Wan and Claude. Clint's range and passive help him to outrange the enemies and this also helps in getting the early game advantage. His skill 1 can even deal insane damage to the enemies hiding in the bush which gives him an upper hand in poking the enemies. Let me give you one bonus too. The Fury Hammer which is an item component of the Blade of Heptasis and the Hunter Strike will be of great help when you play him. The item is of great benefit because you get 35 physical attacks with 12 physical penetration, meaning you get more punch in your damage. This item composition cost 830 gold, so if you prioritize it, you will be able to get this item just by clearing 2 minion waves. Next we have Leslie, which is also popularly known for her range and the new true crit damage. The passive enhances the range that gives her the advantage to poke the enemies in her lane. And I would like to add the fury hammer on her too. I'm sure you guys already know how to use her efficiently, so I want to focus on a different subject. Mostly people refuse to play her because she is easily countered. So if you are against some of the very deadly physical assassins or fighters, you can use the Dreadnought Armor. Dreadnought Armor is a part of the item Anticurus. And this fragment is a lifesaver against skill based damage dealing assassins and fighters. This item reduces the physical attack of any skill oriented fighters or assassin by 5% which can increase up to 15%. Plus you can get 40 physical defense. The item costs around 730 gold so if you prioritize it from the start you will be able to get this item after clearing about 2 minion waves. If you are looking for 100% safe and secure diamond, Kazuki Official Store is here to fulfill your needs. We are trusted by more than 50k MLPB players from India, Philippines and Europe. Do visit our website and browse between our various packs. Next we have Malisa. If you faced her, you can already know why I took her on the list. Her second skill can just join you out inside the turret in the early game. If you didn't try her out in the gold lane yet, I suggest you try her with Inspire. This especially works in solo games. Now as you are using MM, you will be vulnerable to many assassins. And if you are up against such heroes, I would like to suggest one other item that works really well. That is the steel lake plates which is a fragment of blade armor and the dominance eyes. This item is for those who need some defense to survive. This cost only 530 gold. So many people build it as it is a cost effective defense item. So if you prioritize it, you can get it very easily by clearing just one wave or minions. And as we are talking about the range advantage, I want to include Popol and Koopa here too. He is based as zoning out the heroes in the early game. And it's like facing two enemies. So it is very irritating when you go solo against Popol and Koopa. From the melee heroes, I really like how Kaja can poke enemies from a distance. So I would like to give this hero a thumbs up for the range advantage. Also getting a part of HP when using the passive is very beneficial for him. If you want to further add an item, I want to suggest you to use the elegant gem. This item costs only 700 gold and gives you 300 HP with 380 mana. The passive is its best feature. It regens 20% of the maximum HP and mana when you level up. 
meaning you don't have to recall to base for mana and HP again and again. This item is best suited with magic damage heroes. If you already use it with your favorite heroes, do comment down the names. Let's now talk about Lelia. If you have met her in the enemy team, you might have already known how annoying she is. She already has two skills in level 1 and see how fast she can clear the lane. She deals lot of damage and her second skill can add up up to 5 times which is good to poke enemies in the early match. She can keep on spamming her second skill and giving her more advantage over the enemy team. You can also use her second skill to zone out enemy side laner. Bonus, you can use her second skill to reveal the enemy in the bush. Let's now move to Selena. Selena's abyssal arrow is the main problem in the early game. Getting hit by it when you are alone is like getting a free recall, especially for squishy heroes. She already has enough damage to kill enemies from level 2. Her abyssal arrow has the longest turn in MLBB depending on the range of it for up to 3 seconds. Imagine getting a stun for 3 seconds. Her abyssal trap can give vision anywhere on the map which can help teammates to know when enemies come to gain that particular lane. Tough boots work effectively against her since it reduces crowd control effects by 30%. It is one of the most useful builds when the enemy has a lot of crowd control effects. Most of the players use it without knowing its advantage. Moving to Valir. Valir in the early team fight feels like he has unlimited skills and a burning effect. He can keep on spamming his first skill as it restores CD when hit enemies or kills. His skill can't burst enemies but it can keep on poking enemies, making them recall, giving you more advantage and time to back up teammates. He is also one of the most annoying hero, especially for melee heroes. You might have seen Franco hooking buff out with Flicker. It really annoys the jungler. It does not reset fully, but it makes the jungler take more time to get the buff giving our team a slight advantage. And I would suggest you to build steel lake plates for the extra defense if you are planning to build dominance eyes or blade armor. There is also another item which is really good for tanks that is molten essence. This item not only allows you to deal damage to the enemies but also helps to clear minions faster. Another item is warrior boots. It is very effective in the early game, it has 22 physical defense when hit by a basic attack, it gains extra 5 physical defense, which can be stacked up to 25 at max. In total, you get 47 physical defense. And that was all for this video. Do comment down if you have any other tricks in mind. Thank you guys for watching. Keep supporting Kazuki Official.